Hello and welcome back to Imperial Galactic Survival. My name is Benj. Welcome back to Reforged Eden. Uh, I'm still here on this um, desert oasis planet. We, uh, I found the, the, the temples that we needed from uh, taking the tomb in the last episode. Look at that guy down there. He's doing some right magic-y stuff. Cool. Very cool. I guess that's a shaman. Talon have these shaman dudes and if you pee them off they come and take your shields down and kind of wreck your base and stuff uh they're pretty cool anyway yes yeah, so last episode we took the abandoned tomb and we got a number of um number of things from that abandoned tomb here they are they're sort of relics and things like that uh so we need to come and find the talon and they have two of these there this one is the one of the sun and i think the moon one is gonna be very nearby somewhere uh, and i think we can sell those ancient relics that we got from here as well so um this will be a nice little worth it trip and this is basically i don't know if remian has added any more to the story of these guys um since last time so you found it found the relic of the sun thank you now our temple power has been restored as a token i should give you a fragment of our holy relic hold on to it you might find use for it uh very happy to help thank you very much and um yeah i don't know if uh, revian is is um done any more to this storyline last time i did this i think i got the the relics and then i went up to a crystalline moon had to cleanse something and that was the end of it but uh but there we go May, maybe uh he's added a bit more maybe not tell me about this tomb what is the significance of these relics i was not aware talon possessed advanced technology um what is the significance of these relics they've been passed down by our ancestors ever since we first settled on this world every year we bring them out of the tomb to recharge our temples on the holy day of Osarius before returning them to their resting place but with the Xerax at the tomb we have unable to retrieve our relics uh what is uh, done that one tell me about this tomb okay no I don't need to know about that right okay um and this trader here I think it is this guy yes who will buy our ancient relics for a lot of money oh bugger oh that's not good you guys need to have some defenses around here nightshade You are an absolute son of a bitch. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? It survived. It survived. Took a few hits there, but it survived. Damn drones. Nasty little bastards. Okay, it was not watching the mini-map when they, uh, when they came up. As a result, blessed old little nightshade here took an absolute beating. Um, but... Ooh. She's just survived. Um, I don't have a shield generator in this thing yet. Um, but that is something I'm going to be adding very soon because of these reasons. Sit down! Damn drone. Anyway, um, before we can go, I think the moon temple is that away. So let's go check that out. Now, um, Oh, okay, metal scrap. Damn it, I thought it was metal salvage. I thought it was three metal salvage. I'm rich! <laughs> if I metal salvage, this is one you can put in the deconstructor and it gives you all sorts of wonderful materials back. Anyway, that was just. That just goes in the, uh, the furnace and that will give you a Neo or something like that. So, anyway. Um, well, I hope no more drones come along. Maybe what I can do, because the nightshade is small enough, is uh, just park it inside. There we go. <laughs> there we go problem solved sorry about the curbside thing uh i'll be quick <laughs> anyway hi you found it the relic of the moon thank you uh temple power blah 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 blah. great uh thank you very much happy to help um see please help us well these xerox pirates of red dark literally just gave you the thing goodbye goodbye and you can buy the other uh two relics that I have here. Thank you very much. Even more money cards. Lovely. Okay, that's good. So we, well, that's it. Okay, we got two. Shard of the Sun. A fragment from ancient Talon relic. There's a two notches. There are notches visible to connect two other parts. And the ancients came upon Osarius and bathed it in internal light. Uh, damn it. You know what? I'm, I'm struggling to remember where the last shard is. Now, I think it has something to do with the pirates or something like that. Uh, oh my god, it was, it, 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 it's a keep of some sort, some some kind of castle type POI, it's huge, and it's got a, a, a pirate or a bandit or something 
And I can't remember where it is. And maybe that's the desert oasis planets that I thought were kind of worthless. Or, or maybe it's not on this type of planet because it's on a planet where there are no talent. And from other side, I have a vague memory of this now. Oh my god. There's a third part. And the third part is off in some kind of fortress. And where that fortress is, I cannot remember. But there is a fortress somewhere that has the third part in it. Okay, I, I will try and figure that out <laughs> another time. But right now, let's head back to the ship. Um, I didn't find any um, more jetpack boosts, but there are plenty of Xeraxian scumbags on this planet, so I think we should maybe go and blow them up a little bit and uh, <laughs> see if we can get some jetpack boosts. Because I do want to show you what's in the roof of that pyramid, that temple, because it is totally worth it getting up there. I think there's more, e there's even more ancient relics up there as well that we can go and sell uh, if we can get them. So let's see if we can find some Xeraxian scumbags around here to ruffle stomp and uh, see if we can get a jetpack boost from them. If not, we're going to continue our journey to the stars towards trying to find somewhere to live uh, and set up base. Now, if I can set up base fairly soon ish. Uh, then I can take the Ayamara into combat and we can see what it's all about. Now, I, there has been... I've just caught up on the comments from, from when I brought the Ayamara in and we had a look around. <laughs> There's a bit of a spirited debate, but I will... <laughs> I will call for calm among the comments section because there are two very distinct playstyle camps, shall we say, uh, in, in the comment section, and this is the thing with Imperion, is that it, it does divide. It does divide a lot of you between various play styles. So, you know, there's the obvious divide between the PvE community and PvP community. That, that goes for every game that has PvE and PvP. Um, and there is a divide between various play styles. I figured out what this invisible wall was, by the way. There you go. <laughs> There's a divide between various playstyles um, of of ship and stuff like that. Now, I, I, to make myself clear, I mean, when I've spawned this thing, this thing in, I don't understand it. I still don't really understand it because it's not my normal playstyle. But the whole purpose of this series and why I've put things to a vote is to kind of find out how other people work, how other builds work. And it's a it's a learning experience for me as well because you know I bring the ship in and I'm going huh what <laughs> how does this bloody work because it it would never have occurred to me before to build a ship that um, just relies solely on dodging. Now that being said, I've kind of already sort of you know experienced that or and even built to that kind of um that that kind of uh, what's the words that kind of technique already. The Ray Tracer and the Vendetta are both based on high maneuverability uh, and being able to dodge shops, uh, shots, shops, and being able to dodge incoming fire. The Amara is no different. The Amara is just a bigger, better made version of those ships that I have also built. The highly maneuverable, slightly squishy glass cannons. Okay, the Ray Tracer is definitely in that category. The Ray Tracer can run rings around many many ships and it doesn't have nearly the amount of firepower that the amara has here now i'm i'm quite interested although you know obviously when i spawned this thing in i was like what the hell's going on here i don't understand this thing i am very interested to take this thing into a fight and see what it's capable of now as for all the missing blocks and things like that obviously i i figured it out i figured it out later in that same episode it is so i can put drive thrusters in there and fill those gaps up no problem I am still slightly weirded out by the locations of the constructors, but I figure that might also be upgrade space for large uh, advanced thrusters, you know, to increase the forward m m momentum of the vessel. Who knows? Um, the point is, yes, it's very different from what I would normally fly. It's very different from what I would normally use. It's very different from what a lot of other people would use. It uses game mechanics and a technique that you may not wholly agree with or even like. But the point is, it's a perfectly valid playstyle. And it's a perfectly valid way of taking on enemies. There is nothing to say that this is not the way to play. This is not the way to do it. There's nothing to say that. There's the wonderful thing about this game. There are so many ways 
to do it. None of them are more valuable or less valuable than the other. So while I, I appreciate, let's say, the passion in the comment section over the Ayamara there, please <laughs> keep it civil. Um, we are all playing a game we love in the way that we love to do it. Uh, I am here and, and, and doing this series the way I'm doing it in order to see, well, for several reasons. A, to give uh, the community a little kind of say on what happens in this series. B, to experience how other builds um, are built, other um, tools of this game are put together. Nailed it. Um, you know, and to, and to learn from it, ultimately. And I, I probably uh, maybe could have <laughs> handled it slightly differently when I spawned the AMRA in and, and sort of, you know, gone, hey, you know, this is different, but let's figure it out and been a little bit more positive. The honest reaction was there. I, I, I never like to sort of uh, shy away from my honest reaction of things because generally I spawned this thing in and was confused. I was very confused. <laughs> It's, I will figure it out, guys. We will figure it out together. And we will uh, we'll see what this thing is capable of. And I'm sure, um, as you know, it has been proven and, and there is video evidence of this thing working uh, on, on Rogue's... Oh, sorry, Rogue? Rogue, is it? I don't know how to pronounce it, but some, some of you have pointed out that I pronounced it incorrectly. Um, basically how this thing works, and it does work because there's evidence on his channel that it worked, of it working. So... I am looking forward to putting it to practice. Now, what I am slightly um, uh, cautious uh, or unsure about is how this will translate into videos. This is what worries me about the Ayamara. Now, obviously, a big brick CV that is just armor tanking and then, you know, has huge repair bills and blah, 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 blah. Uh, that thing is fine. You basically just, you're moving it slowly in and out of kind of combat range while you take apart your enemy ships. However, uh, the ship is designed to do so. This thing is designed to dance, essentially, around an enemy target, and I'm not sure how that's going to translate into videos. But we're going to give it a go, and obviously I'll let you guys be the judge of it, and I'll obviously judge it as well while I'm editing it, if, if, if it is sort of too nauseating, shall we say? <laughs> then, um, you know, I may have to rethink uh, things a little bit when it comes to this ship. Uh, but this ship isn't going to be the only one. We have a... we're going to have a Dreadnought. Um, we're going to have a Dreadnought in. Uh, at some point, it's probably the last ship of the competition sort of thing where, you know, it's kind of no whole bar, build build what the hell you want, no limits, just, yeah, it's a Dreadnought. 300 turrets? Yeah, fine, no worries. <laughs> that sort of thing. I have got no plasma ammo in this thing. What the hell am I doing? I got no ammo whatsoever. <laughs> oh my god. Right, so, uh, to fill you in, this... I've kind of gone off on one, sorry. This is the Forest V. I, I said before I was going to upgrade it and stuff, and I was going to do it via creative mode because the number of upgrades and changes I wanted to make were too real fast to do it in uh, survival mode. Um, okay, let's just turn the thrusters off because I need to go and do some stuff. You know what? This is the problem with doing things in creative mode. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> there we go. I can get the hell out of it now. <laughs> damn it. Creative mode. It's fine. You're in god mode all the whole time, so of course you can get in and out of the damn cockpit. Uh, what I wanted is... I need some ammunition, so let's build some ammunition. We're going to take the old Far SV out for a little bit of fun. Go and take down some POIs, and uh, I think fun will be had by all. So yeah, let's build some... Um, what do you output count? 10? 500 um, railgun rounds and we'll get the other constructor working on plazzy rounds plazzies, there's 106 already in there but we're going to need way more than that um, give me 2500 that's 2500, output count 100 output count 25 oh, okay well, a um, couple more then there we go. Okay, so those two are working on that. That actually needs to go into there. I mean, we should be fine. And there's a server restart, which is actually kind of perfect timing in, in, the weird, in a weird and wonderful way. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, no worries. Small Arms has got some railgun rounds in it. There we go. Uh, 
A type lasers, GATs, plasma, and the railgun rounds. Because it's got GATs on the bottom, it's got some laser turrets on the top here. Um, so uh, the upgrades I've done are essentially just I've, I've changed out the thruster placements. These are the same. So uh, actually, I, I worked with Knight on this one, so I sent him the sort of updates, and then he sent me back a, a bunch of changes back, and we sort of uh, went back and forth a bit to a point where we both kind of liked uh, what we'd done. So I got rid of a lot of the internal space you might have seen. The the primary thrusters are the massive jet thrusters now. Some of the lefty righty kind of thrusters have been moved about. Uh, the up down thrusters have been moved about. And, and the internal space has been completely reworked, so you can't walk around the sides anymore. There was little reason to do that, in, in my opinion. Uh, so we've got a shield generator mounted in here with some um, of the uh, extenders. The warp drive over here um, with some generators and stuff like that. I've done some pipe work, as you saw. Some of it is better than others. <laughs> I'll have to uh, adjust that a little bit. And that's about it, and um, yeah, a few other bits and bobs around. So the, other than that, this is all the same. Uh, I changed the front out a little bit as well, so you've got a little bit more. Um, and obviously this, the the doors were here, in the side here. I moved them both and just created a central door there. And that's pretty much it, other than just adding a few turrets in there. You can see one of the medium jet thrusters for lift thrust there. And there we go, the far SV. Now I will... Um, I will see if Knight, if Knight wants to post this on his workshop page. I'm not going to take credit for this. This is very much still his build, so I'm not going to publish this on my workshop. Uh, but if he wants to publish it on his, then he's more than welcome to. It's up to him, though. It is entirely up to him. I, um, I mean, I, I'm already kind of treading on his toes quite a lot by basically modifying the living bejesus out of his ship. But uh, the, the one that obviously he posted it didn't have a lot of upgrades in it. It was something that could be upgraded and that's what I've done. I've put a lot more CPU in this thing and kitted it out a lot more. These are the upgrades and stuff that I make. Will you shut up? <laughs> uh, as for weapons, four plasma cannons and two railguns is still what it got and and, and of course the, the new turrets as well. So once the ammunition is created and we got this thing armed and fully ready to go, uh, I'm going to take it up against some of these basic little Xerox POIs. These aren't big, There's the level one radar space, oxygen depots, comm stations and stuff like that. Let's not forget that we are here to try and find a jetpack boost so that we can actually complete the abandoned tomb. Now the oxygen base I believe, uh, well it's, a, it's unshielded to start off with but I believe if you um, do shoot uh, the shields or the oxygen, the base too much it will uh, it will explode the oxygen. This has got some unusual guns on it. These have got some guns I am unfamiliar with. That one for example hurts. That one really hurts the shields. That white bolt of... I'm not familiar with these weapons. This is the problem since this version of Reforged came out. I mean, Revian is, is, and Vermilion have added so many stuff to it that I have to kind of learn all these new guns and what they do and what they mean. I mean, um, you know, the, uh, the traditional sort of red lasers, hell, even the yellow lasers, the ion lasers and stuff that the Xerox had. That's not all anymore. Ooh, do, 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 do. They got lots more stuff. Right, well, there goes a turret. Uh, my l lasers and stuff are, are trying to deal with that. See, that looks like a bolter turret, a colonist bolter turret to me. And I'm not going to be able to dodge that one just because its rate of fire is so enormous. The, um. Gonna have to back off, I think. Gonna have to back off and let the shields recharge again. The uh, railguns seem to be doing a much better job with these turrets. Um, <clears throat> I think going all the way back when I was shooting that plasma artillery turret, I hadn't realized just how many hit points that plasma artillery turret actually had. And while the railguns were actually working quite well, um, I just happened to switch to plasmas just as it was kind of on its last few hit points, I think. The, uh, the big the big bad turrets like plasma artillery and stuff, they just have a ludicrous number of hit points and stuff, so no fault of the railguns there. Uh, I'm just going to tank these guys on the shields, I think, and just uh, make sure the shots will actually land rather than try and dodge everything. I'm going to have to fall back now. have to fall back, try and dodge a few of the shots on the way out. And um, there we go. <laughs> it's pretty much <laughs> SV, SV tanking 101. 
that thing, bolt a turret or whatever it is, actually took quite a lot of hits there. And I do wonder, because of how this oxygen base is set up, if we can actually just um, do that. <laughs> and then we might be able to actually salvage those turrets. So if I, um, if I just turn these guys off of bases a second, and the player factions don't want them attacking other players. Um, BB anyway, can you uh, cease, cease? Cease firing, please, there, Mr. Guns. Uh, so they can't shoot us right now. And if I can salvage them, then I will be happy with that. Because then I'll have pretty new colours on me. Ship or base or whatever I end up putting these things on. Right, we'll keep the um, shields running power on. Um, let's go and see if we can take this base without uh, taking those turrets off, basically. And see if I can salvage them. Because uh, that would be nice. Right, where's the door? I oh, got a sneaking suspicion. The door. Is right under these freaking guns, isn't it? Fine, they haven't got the turret depression, gun depression to get me around here. It's all good. Uh, there is no door. Ah, no door. Found it. I went a really long way around, didn't I? <laughs> well, I'll know for next time. Hello. Bit unfair, really. I have an epic plasma cannon. Hello? Wakey wakey, Xerox. Not today, Mr. Sentry Gun. Not today. Okay, this place is filled with little switches and flippy, flippy things. So, which ones are the ones that destroy the base? And which ones are the ones that actually give me access to what I need? That goes upstairs. I love this gun. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> Pop that into the SV for now. Once I core it, I can move the AMR over here. The AMR might actually have been able to just tank this entire thing and destroy all the turrets with its laser turrets. Because laser turrets fire in atmosphere in Reforged Eden. It's lovely. They don't do a huge amount of block damage, of course. So uh, who actually knows whether it would have worked or not. So... Um, crew oh yes yes we got another another member of crew another member joins the ship love it jane is doing wonderfully for anybody who might be curious doing a great job anyway that should open that right oh you are a right little cheeky bugger you are did not see that coming in venice well played this has been updated, hasn't it? Because I don't remember it being this this cheeky. I... That was cheeky. That was definitely cheeky. Did not see them coming. Hello? Die. Yeah. Alright. The core hours. Are we are we free to take it now? This is the thing, because I am almost certain that um certain flippy flippy switch around here will just self-destruct the entire bloody place. Flippy flippy switch. Right? Is that core core destroy flippy flippy switch? Or is that kill all useful things that I want to salvage flippy flippy switch? Yeah, these are the questions we must ask. So uh, another little bit of kind of rooting around and exploring and stuff is kind of required to ensure that the flippy flippies are the correct flippy flippies and not the incorrect flippy flippies. That's useless. <laughs> I don't know. The flippy flipped. There isn't a flippy flippy in here, is there? No. Okay. I think it is just that one. Do you know what? I'm going to trust because there's another oxygen depot 
uh, around the corner. And so if this one self-destructs it, then the next one I will just plasma blast my way through to the core uh, instead. So let's trust the flippy flippy. This is probably a mistake and the entire thing is about to explode. But we do these things for science and so that you guys know which flippy flippy to flip and which flippy flippies to not flip. Clear as day, right? Oh! Oh! Oh, you know that was a big explosion. <laughs> God. Okay, so that flippy, 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 flipped. <laughs> I can't say anymore. <laughs> that flippy, flippy blew the flipping flip out of flipping everything. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, cool. Well, um, I think we lost a lot of the oxygen from this thing. Bill, um, get rid of that. There's still a lot of oxygen in here. And as it's only 50% full, we haven't lost any oxygen. What we have lost is perhaps the um, the salvage on the oxygen tanks that self-destructed. Uh, still, let's check on the roof, actually, because I want to see if those turrets are uh, intact. If they're intact, then worth it. So it's worth it, right? Because the salvage alone on those things is going to be hot. Hello. Whee! Yes, they're intact. Heavy flak turret. Oh, so it wasn't a bolter. A heavy flak turret and a heavy plasma. <gasps> Guys! Oh my god! Do you know what this means? Hang on. Hold the phone. System upgrades. Heavy. Heavy. And these things require what? They require large system upgrade kits. Mm -mm -mm. Large system upgrade kits. Yes, please. Hi, heavy turrets. Please stand by and uh, don't go anywhere because I'm going to go get the Yamara over here and uh, we're going to salvage the living bejesus out of you, sunshine. Oh, yes. Um, and, of course, loot all the stuff inside because we haven't actually looted anything yet, really. Not really. Lots of stuff in there. Okay, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. Sidetracked from our mission, which was the actual um, boosts. But heavy turrets. Screw the boosts. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Oh, do you know what else? Um you got to strap this thing back onto <laughs> to the IMR somehow. Uh, right. The There is actually quite a lot of stuff in here. So let's, I'm just going to dump it in there. It's a Kurama box. And I will sort it later. And for now, what I will do is just slot this thing on the roof, I think. On the roof, yeah. Because strapping it on the back where I... Where, what the hell's going on? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Sit down. No, no, see, no, see, that's not right. You shouldn't be moving around just because I'm trying to dock to you. Okay. <laughs> that's illegal. Stay still. Docking, docking legs. Can you come down, please? Thank you. Okay, that was weird. That was really weird. Anyway, ship should be fine up there for the time being. We'll figure it out. Um, thrusters, please. Let's get over there. We need your storage capacity to loot these places, after all. Oxygen depot. Yeah, there's another oxygen depot. There's a, what, a comm station over there? And then a radar space beyond that. There's loads of stuff around here. It's great. Okay. Um, all right, we'll just sort of bonk it down as best we can. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> Plonk. Okay, uh, right, let's loot this bad boy. Disassemble those turrets. I want all the goodies. Ow. All of the goodies off this thing. Let's see, first of all, let's salvage those turrets. Let's connect to... Amara. Um, let's... I'm just going to use this secure ammo one box as my kind of loot box. And then I will just sort it out once we're done. Because that's a 312 KSU loot box. So, um, you know, worths. Now, I can't obviously call this base. Uh, but I'm going to try and retrieve the turret anyway. And it will obviously give me a chance. By the oh my god, really? <laughs> it's freaking, I'd find the hole, wouldn't I? Um, okay, so... Advanced upgrade kit. Bingo. And platinum plate. Hells yeah. Um, we can do the same to this one here. Heavy flak turret. Boom, aluminium foil, safety plates, computers, flux. No advanced upgrade kit on that one, though. Ah, damn, that's a shame. I was hoping we'd get one for each and every turret we get. 
Well, the good news is that if there were these bases around here, if they have all got kind of heavy turrets on them, uh, which, you know, I'm sure some of them will have, others may not, then, uh, then we, we, we are going to do some... We're going to do well from this, I think. We are definitely going to do well. Okay, so the loot... The loot o'clock dong gong noise has gone. <laughs> I'll learn to speak one day. One day, during this, this job, I will learn to speak properly. Loot o'clock has sounded, and we are looting. Okay, let's quickly run through this thing, because there's a bunch of stuff that obviously I didn't loot at the time. These use the thing. You usually have boosts in them, so that's disappointing. You as well, although a radiation shot, immunity shot, is very welcome. As are those decontamination kits. Also very welcome. Right, I want uh, consoles and deco and stuff, because that stuff sells. Sells very nicely. So if we find a train station on the way, we can sell all that stuff. Tech equipment and things like that. It sells reasonably well. These generators are somehow still intact, which is lovely even with the explodey blocks above them are exploding um uh, i'm not going to complain nice some of these bases now i don't know if it's this one or whether it's like older versions of it but they have like hidden loot things in the walls hmm, i don't think this really has room for that oh hello how is that run out i'm connected to this freaking thing oh because it's an ammo box it doesn't scroll we're back to that, aren't we? Yeah, because all of these are ammo boxes apart from the harvest box, which is the only one is, is except to my input box, right? Okay, so I have to keep managing this thing. Anyway, okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to go through this because um, I don't think there's anything else very interesting left in this thing. So I'm just going to quickly salvage it, loot it, and then I'll show you what we got. All right, so there we go. Pretty much um, all the salvage and stuff we've got in there. We've got a bunch of meds as well. Most importantly... Uh, you might have seen it. We did get another jetpack boost, which is wonderful. Wonderful. So we might be able to actually complete uh, the uh, abandoned tomb after all. Right, there is a few more. Like I said, there's a Rados base over there. Now, the Rados base has shields up. Now, this thing here had a compact shield thing, and it, and it seemed to have been switched off, which is great, because it means I didn't have to drop shields on this thing at all. Um, but behind that, compact shield was another loot crate as well so if you are doing that one just watch out for that um the radar space however has shields up so let's have a little poke of that let's go and poke it let's go see what it's got all right i am yamara let's see what you can do to a, a planetary based poi rados base four turrets on the outer edges of this thing i'm hoping my miss my laser turrets can um return some fire uh, though I, I may, yeah, may actually need to turn bases on or something, haven't I? I turned it off. Yep, bases. All right. Any of you guys going to do anything? Oh, one of them's firing. Good. <laughs> well, as long as I've got one of them firing, I suppose. <laughs> Is that here? We got one laser turret. Oh no, the other one, the other laser turret. And I got laser turrets on the nacelles there, but maybe they're not in range. This isn't really working, is it? Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, they woke it up. They woke it up, but I'm running around, running around out of shields before I think they do anything. And, and obviously, <laughs> that thing's still at seventy percent shields. So, uh, if I can get their shields down, I don't think they'll recharge. Because a lot of these POIs and stuff, they'll have a little, like, configuration setting or something where they're, they're, they don't recharge, providing you deplete the shields. I'm going to have to fall back in a second. Come on. 8, 7, 5, 3, 2, 1. Shields are down. Back away. Back away. Back away. Out of range of those missiles as well. Right, let's see if those shields recharge or not. I'm hoping they don't. They don't. I could recharge mine all the way back up to 100, fly back in again, and um, probably have time to jump into the far SV and, and use it to take out the, the uh, turrets while this thing tanks all the shots. Although that might be very risky because then I'll be out of the ship, the shield to do drop, blah, 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 blah. So I'll probably just head in with the far SV and do 
what we did before with the oxygen and base there and, and just take the shields and I don't think this is going to be one of the ones where I can preserve the turrets unfortunately so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the I am Mara here seems as good a place as any to park those shields don't appear to be coming back up you see get out so remember if you get them down uh, they should stay down now and that might not be true for all POIs uh, some of them may recharge them, in which case you've got a real tricky situation on your hands because you have to deplete them and then, then keep them down. Uh, but like I said, a lot of POIs do have a little uh, setting in them, so once they deplete, that's it. And that's really useful for especially the larger ones where um, you end up kind of going in and you have to destroy some of the stuff inside in order to progress it. This will be one of those, actually. Uh, because if the shields regenerate and you're on foot inside the POI, then you can't even blast through doors or kill, you know, things because the bloody shields come back up. It's <laughs> pretty annoying. Right, one of these guys was a freaking uh, missile turret, and I think it was this one here. So priority target, that missile turret right there. We're switching to plasmas on this time. I'm gonna have to probably... Oh, there you go, there goes the turret. We're gonna back off a lot with the SV here just because its shields are so much weaker than a CV's. That is one real slow moving missile. Is it actually going to catch us? It's still going. <laughs> Look at this. I think it something just hit the shields. Invasive maneuvers. You can't catch me. Weird missile thing. Ooh, maybe you can. It's still going. Alright, fine. Hit, hit the freaking hull. I'm bored of running away. <laughs> I think it already had, and I think the graphic just hadn't caught up. Anyway, those plasma cannons really ripped that shield apart, but uh, that, that turret apart, but I wonder how much damage it had taken from the lasers, actually. Okay, shield to back up. Let's have another little poke at this thing. See, if I can get these two down at the front here, I wonder if I can park... Come on, come on. Alright, gotta back up, back up, back up, back up, because those freaking missiles do so much damage. No. Oof. I think I may have just got away with that. I did take some damage there. And there are two more missiles coming. Ah! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> shields! Shields! Back up, please. Back up. How much? How long do those missiles follow me for? Forever. Forever. Those Xerox heat seeking missiles follow you forever. I think one of them is timed out. Uh, there you go. The other one's gone now. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we did take a little chip on the little nose there, didn't we? It's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's all good. Okay, if we can get rid of that, that turret, I wonder if we can actually get under the guns at the front of the POI. We're going to give it a go. Let's get rid of you, sunshine. Come on, die already. Die already. Oh, God. Oh, shields are really down. Really down. And we've got a missile incoming. Run away! <laughs> Two missiles incoming. No shields. Shields back up, please. 20%. Lovely. Lovely. Great. 40%. All right. All right. Here they come. Come on in. I'll, 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 I can take you. I can take you. Can I shoot you down? That'd be... Where are they going? Are they actually getting here? I feel like they're miles away. Shoot your, miss shoot your missiles down. Railgun them. They're so slow. It'd be cool if you could shoot them, but nay, I don't think you can. Um, go on them. Yeah, you I think the effect, I think they've already hit. And the effect is just taken that long to catch up. It's really weird. They do hit, and then they do nothing to the shields. Like the little graphic thing. Oh, okay. we're going to fly towards you because you're taking that long. There you go. Yeah, they do nothing to the shields, you see. Right, we did actually take that turret out. So let's see. I'm going to see if I can park the ship in a position where it can't be shot upon. Like we did before, we are just going to go... Boink. Uh, precision landing there, ladies and gents. Absolute precision landing. Okay, the turrets, this is your cue. Oh my god. Turrets. Nope, nope. Okay, alright, I think we got away with it. Just about. 
<laughs> um, yeah, if you sentries don't calm down, I am going to blast you with plasmas. But yeah, uh, ground troops, man, they really rip through shields. Crazy. Can have some shields back up. They are on the way back up. Lovely. This is actually quite a tough base, so um, this might be might take us the rest of this episode to do this one base. All right, we're well equipped though. We got we got um, we got a plasma rifle here, but yeah, this is a tough little cookie. This, hi chaps. Please tell me that that is not what. Ooh, now that's just a latent effect, right? That doesn't actually mean that shields are back. Up. I don't see shields. There's no indication of shields above the name of the base. Yeah, that is clearly the effect of a shield right there. Hmm. This is not good. This is really not good. If that is bugged out. Um. All right. Well, there's one thing we can do. Hold the phone. Someone's shooting a shotgun at us. I'm not sure where he is. Oh, I see him. Ha ha ha! Alright, shields are definitely down now. Suck my plasma! <laughs> anyway. Um, let's, let's see if we can get through this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to take your stuff. I'm going to take your stuff. Your stuff. Oh, you literally just despawned as I took it then. You thought you could get away from me, didn't you? You thought you can get away with it. But nay! Alright. Hi. Yes, turrets! Yes! That gat turret right there. Kicking ass, mate. Okay, even though it comes up with a little shield graphic, I think it's just a graphical glitch. I don't think the shields are actually up, because I destroyed that sentry gun. And that spawner there, you see? Oh, I think that's an Elyon please fix moment. Um, but otherwise everything's fine, let's carry on. This is not a good place to be. I feel like I am... Gonna be shot in every direction very soon. Two rounds remaining. Just need one for you. Oh, nasty little bit of lag there that uh, threw that shot off. Absolute split second kind of freaking jump. Sit down. All right, your stuff, your stuff, your stuff, and your stuff. I'll take it all. Thank you very much. Right, there's definitely more bad guys in here. Nice. Look at the AMR up there. Look at that. <laughs> That's a pretty kind of daunting uh, vision to see on the horizon, isn't it? That thing. It's like, hi, you're fucked, mate. <laughs> yeah, kiss your ass goodbye, sunshine. Okay. Um, this is a good POI, but you cannot underestimate this one at all. It will catch you out. It will eat you alive if you are careless. I tell you. <laughs> I've been caught out plenty of times in this one. <laughs> right, let's uh, loot some stuff into the Far SV uh, before it ungraciously kind of gets blown up or something useless like that. Right, controller, container controller there. 18,000 um, room in there. We can actually loot a fair bit. Uh, container controller, let's chuck all of you in there. Thank you. Right, move on. Hello, boys. I don't actually need to blow them up, I can just walk past them. We still have ammunition, I can just salvage a layer.
Last round. <laughs> Last round. <clears throat> right, we need to get rid of that spawner. We do actually need to go up here, though. So aggressive. Hear little footsteps running around everywhere. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you, Zyraxian scumbags? I hear you. I hear you. I know you're around here somewhere. Right, there's a switch up here or something we need to flip. Hitboxes, love them. Useless. Yeah. Ow. Not today, bitch. Security over core access is activated, but security override I can't can't open that one. The hell is the hitbox going on there? Do not go out there. I haven't destroyed all the turrets, and there's ones on the roof there would probably shoot me dead. Ow! Such a penis! That was just so unnecessary. Outrageous. Took your, took your stuff as well, just for being an absolute dick. Hey, I am Ara. I'm not going out there. That's somewhere in there. I think the freaking shotgun Xerax or a missile, elite missile Xerax or something, just one shot me dead. So I ain't going out there. Knob off. <laughs> End of. <laughs> Oh. Nasty place to keep me, uh, catch me out, I tell you. Bridge. Lovely. Xeraxian spare ribs. Oh, I love a Zaraxian cookie. Made real better. Intruder detected. Security override in effect. System is locked. Security force deployed. Oh, this is new. <laughs> uh, security force, huh? Ow. You made me bleed. Fall back. Let's see the bastard. Sit down, you sunshine. That's the switch. Had to go in the core room first. Clever. Different and sneaky. I like it. Now then, can we go back to the core room? Woo! <laughs> My base! <laughs> Cheeky dick. Cheeky dick. I'll use a bandage. Now, that's not to say that this place is completely secure. Far from it. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Hello, fella. Hello, fella. Look at you. Oh, you're a big, beautiful boy, aren't you? Look at that. Hello. Thanks for coming through the glass. Now I can shoot you with impunity. <laughs> oh, no. I, don't, I just can't do it. I can't bring myself to do that. It's, it's just wrong. Just look, I could, yes, I could very easily just kill you right now because you're an absolute idiot, but I'm not going to. I'm going to give you a fair fight, all right? I'm going to give you a fair fight, but I am using a Xerox Plasma Blaster to kill you. Fair fight was a bad idea. I can actually hit him right now. Yep, got to heal. If you actually, like, try and face tank one of these things, I'm pretty sure it's going to win. Um, let's go to the other end of the corridor here. How have I still got a freaking... That one. There we go. I've still got a broken leg. I don't understand. Right, you were over there. Okay, good. That gives me... I don't know why I just reloaded. Oh, you've got a lot of guns. There you go. There you go, sunshine. Ah, it was bad, but you need to die. Sorry. Right, we do need to mop up because um, I think there is going to be some Zodaxian ground troops all over the shop around here. Uh, but the good news is that I think we managed to get this one as well without much in the way of like destroying it. You know, let's take out two of the guns, uh, but the other ones should be intact. We just need to clear, like I say. <laughs> Did you shoot yourself? <laughs> uh, ah! Joe, sure, I miss fighting the Xerax as an enemy. For all their sneakiness, they do keep me on my on my toes. Every other enemy I fought, I don't know, they're just not the same. Legacy. Whatever it is. Give me a platoon of Xeraxian scumbags any day. Yes. All right, what do we got? Prize money is a EMP turret. I like that. Um, and whatever that is over there, let's go check it out. Obviously, we very unlikely get the uh, full turrets back, but um, we will get some decent components for this thing. That is a missile turret alien. Okie dokie. Hey. Who's taking pot shots at me? Ah, huh? is that you? Right. Let's got to secure the area, make sure there are no Zoraxian scumbags around here, and we can loot and salvage in peace. That was a freaking plasma cannon. You want to play plasma cannon, huh? I could play plasma cannon. Let's play plasma cannon. Where did you go? I win. I'll tell you, you got a good one on me, though. Hiding under, under there. That's a freaking good move. Ah, that's what I love about the Zorax. They're bastards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sneaky little bastards. I still won though. Take that. Ah, oh, brilliant. That uh, this is where the game comes to life for me, and it really shines through. Is taking on Zaraxian scumbags. Um, it's it's a pleasure. It's a joy. Uh, they are only level ones, of course. If they were um, four fives and stuff, I might not be um, quite enjoying myself quite as much. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, I've got this POI to disassemble now and, and finish looting and stuff. I don't expect anything particularly um, groundbreaking out of it, but, uh, um, you know, I'll let you know if something does come up. I'm going to go quickly take this apart, and then before we end today's episode, quickly run back to the temple, the abandoned tomb, sorry, and uh, see if we can get into the, the, the roof space of that. This is what I wanted to do all from the beginning of this. Uh, we got the jetpack boost out of it, so hopefully we can get up through that little gap in the ceiling. No whole turrets this time. Damn. Okay, so what I've got is two jetpack boosts now and a multi and a mobility. We need to jump up there. Oh, and we're in. We are in! Okay. And then there is another freaking hole. Unbelievable. 
Uh, up there, look. Up there. Now that, I'm not sure we can get up there. Ah. Uh, I think that's a trap door. Could be wrong, but I think that's a trap door. Um, we're going to have to use the kind of walls here to parkour our way up. There we go. Ah, it's a bit of a tricky one, but this, this entire place has always been about that kind of like jump puzzle stuff. And there we go. There's another diamond and a bunch of gold in there. Uh, you can actually see this one from the outside as well, but you just can't get to it. So there we go. That's how you get to that. Now, that isn't all because down here in this main chamber here, um, yeah, there's, well, there's all of this. <laughs> I'm going to need another brewery, guys. <laughs> uh, these barrels uh, are full of things like vegetables and roots, but also... Uh, I'll see if I can find any that actually have any in, but it looks like it's uh, been changed since last time. They used to be filled with liquor. Bottles and bottles and bottles of liquor. That seems to have changed. It is no longer full of liquor. It is full of the normal stuff you would expect to find in these barrels. But, you know, a good way of filling up the fridge, nevertheless. Because uh, there is a lot of them here. Meat. Everything that I'm opening is actually, I'm, I'm doing really, I'm doing a bad thing because it's doing that double open bug thing. God damn it. All that stuff that I've opened is just spoiled into spoiled food. I'm hearing Xerox, I'm slightly nervous. Anyway, the point is, that is pretty much it um, for the top of the temple. It's uh, it's a lot of opening of boxes. Um, but like I said, you know, it's a good way of filling up the fridge. Um, and there we go. That's it. Now, now that is the abandoned tomb in full. I'm sorry I couldn't do it in the last episode. Uh, but we did find our jetpack boost, and here we are. We made it, guys. Uh, and that is going to be all for today. Now, what I might do off camera just a little bit is maybe ruffle stomp a couple more of these Xeraxian scumbags over here. See if I can get some more of those advanced upgrade kits off of their uh, turrets. And um, in the next episode, these things. Look, I've got nine of the buggers already, actually. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, in the next episode, then, we're going to continue uh, our... We're going to continue our heading towards progenitor space, which is that away, that away, uh, because we do need to we need to set up a base so that we can obviously offload the Amara, and then we can um, use it as the combat ship that it was actually kind of designed to be. Um, so we're going to settle around about somewhere over here. Now, what I'm going to be looking for is um, a system that has all, if not most of the resources in it close by as many on you know one planet as possible would be great we're going to set up a space station um the the fleet action station i've already kind of shown you to a degree somewhere around here and um we're going to set up a series of auto miners and such on the local planets with a teleport network to help us go and, and manage them and maintain them as i did in the last series it's going to take a lot of setup but that will be essentially our how we get the resources for the really kind of late game stuff um, and then we can start looking into going into progenitor space voidium magma site and actually going through the progenitor research tree this is a huge part of project eden's end game uh, all this stuff is really a huge part of it but to get to this you really need to do the kind of grind first of all to get set up auto mine all that resources have um a combat ship capable of taking on the drones, the legacy, everything in between, which, you know, uh, as it would happen, we already have. So there we go. Anyway, I look forward to seeing what the Ayamara can do to big bad ships once we've, um, you know, unloaded her and made sure she's at optimal fighting weight. Because uh, like a thoroughbred fighter, she has to be in shape. So that's all to come. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.